hey hey and welcome to brooklyn's barbie bay i am so excited today i have a couple of dolls that are barbie so this is our barbie haul today a couple of dolls i got back in 2022 and i actually also well all of them actually i got back in 2022 but the newest one for me is going to be our barbie doll that is in the wheelchair set i'm so excited to get her out of the box and talk about her but when i was in um I believe it was Ross. I was able to find this color reveal doll. So I'm excited to see like what she's about, um, what comes in her set. I've never ever gotten a color reveal, okay? So I've only collected so far these cutie reveal dolls, which I actually have another one, okay? So I'm excited about this one. I think it's an owl. Um, so this is not the newest. I think they have some newer ones that have either come out or coming out. Um, but we're going to get into all three dolls today in this video. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. I'm going to do the easiest of all three, and that's going to be our wheelchair Barbie so that we can just take her out of the box. Cause I think I have a couple of things I'm going to have to do with these color reveals and cutie reveals. That's going to cause me to have to pause my video a couple of times. So let's get into it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen and lovers of dolls. Today we have the Barbie, um, as you can see, that is in a wheelchair. I love the fact that Barbie is so in tune to all body types, doll types, people. It's like she's making the village very diverse, and I'm here for it. Um, I actually have a child who's in a wheelchair, so I do collect a lot of the dolls that she can um, relate to and look like her, right? So this is super cool. If you look on the back of the box, you also have all of the current fashionistas um, and dolls that are in this series. So I do have her. I believe I have her. I haven't unboxed her yet, so I definitely will. Um, and I just now received her. I believe I have her as well. Not sure if I have him. I don't always collect all of the fashionistas because I have to make sure I have a body double for the, for some of them. And because the ones in the wheelchair are already made to move bodies, you know, I'm good there. But when I start to collect the ones that are not made to move body, I do like to um, give them a body. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So... That's why you don't see me doing a whole lot of fashionistas unless I'm doing a body swap. Okay, so let's get her out of the box and let's see how she is made and if we like her and we're going to rate her and all of that. Okay, so now that we've gotten our doll out of the box, let's see exactly what we got. First things first, we have this ramp, which is really cute. So if you have a doll house or you have um, something that she needs to ride up, it does come with the ramp with like the little hooks kind of like on the back. So I kind of put there if I needed, you know, her to ride down something. So I thought that that was really cute. And on the ramp, it just says Barbie. Okay. Then we have our actual doll. First things first, I want to show you how you have the locks for the wheels on the sides. So that's really, really cute. I like how they really took the time to make um, everything really like a real wheelchair for the doll. So you have your locks in case you don't want the wheels to move or you want your wheels to move. You don't have to lock them. I also want to show you how the foot pedal actually does come up. So the foot pedal, the foot pedal comes up. So her legs can actually sit on the foot pedal, as you can see. And the foot pedal also raises or raises down. So if you wanted her legs to be out, they can, they can be out. And let's just kind of see how that would look. So we'll put her legs up a little bit. We'll put her foot pedal, pedal up. And kind of raise them out or you can have them completely down and on the pedal itself so it's a really neat idea um, how they did this I really do like the fact that they gave some functionality I'm gonna lock her wheels really quick so we can have a look see at the doll so how is she able to stay in here well you have this post on the back that allows for her body it's almost like a standard um, you know how the stander has that anchor so that the doll can, you know, be held. So this doll has the exact same. And to take her out, you're just going to remove her from that. And then you could put her wheelchair on her ramp or store anywhere. Just to show you the wheelchair, look at the, the, the way that the seat is made. Almost like it has a real cushiony-like feel to it. And this is so neat. 
Um, so it makes it look like a pillow in the back, if you can see that. That same thing on the bottom. So it doesn't look like it's just a piece of plastic there. It really looks like it's a wheelchair seat that they're giving the doll. Okay, it has Barbie on the back. So absolutely. So as we now look at the doll itself, it is a made to move body doll, which is always, always my favorite. I absolutely love this doll because let's get into her face mode first, okay? So first things first, we have the, um, her face has um, beautiful chocolate brown skin. Um, look at her face. Her screen uh, for the facing is very, very pretty. She's got an afro, which is, you know, you can style it any way. I love it because it has like maybe like a little part here and then the rest of it is just out. It makes it look very Afrocentric. She's got really pretty um, hoop earrings, which are supposed to be probably like gold, but they're like just yellow. And maybe they're just supposed to be yellow, right? So she's got articulation. She can move her head from side to side, front to back to bottom. She can move them out. She's got the, you know, regular joints of a made to move bar Barbie. So, you know, she has a uh, movement at the elbow. She has movement at the wrist. She has movement... Um, at the legs, her knees, you know, they already bend all the way back. So she is very, 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 um, um, cute to me. I like this doll. I really, really love her. She's got pretty little pink shoes on that I like jellies. And she also has a romper on that Velcro's in the back, but a really cute, fun romper. It's got hearts with, um, or heart sunglasses, as you can see. And the, in the sunglasses, like, um, What's that? Green, pink, and yellow. So it does match the earrings. So very, very cute doll. I absolutely love her. I don't know if I'm going to keep her as the doll in the wheelchair, but um, I definitely um, love her and am ready to like restyle her in a couple of cute outfits because she is giving me life and I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that sometimes when you do a doll that has um, an afro, it is so hard sometimes and, you know, really kind of... Um, not the best texture, but this is really, really good hair. Like it really feels amazing. Um, and it feels more true to how someone's Afro, I mean, actual hair is. So glad that Barbie took the time to um, make sure that we got all the points of references that we needed for this particular doll. So I'm gonna put her back in her chair and move her back to the side with the other dolls. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the next doll that we're going to open. So we'll just sit her there in the background to help us out. Clear off our handy dandy workspace. And let's get into the next doll, which happens to be our cutie reveal doll. Okay, so it says, try me at the top. It looks like I have the owl. Um, I think I have, I don't have any in this actually. So you have a reindeer, it looks like an owl. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if that's a fox or I'm not sure, but I know there's a bear at the bottom of that one. So I have not, you know, gotten any of this series. So I'm kind of excited. Looks like it was a winter series um, doll. It says there's 10 surprises and a pet inside, as usual, as we always know, right? Um, and also on the side for the 10 surprises, it kind of shows you what that is. So it lets you know that the the um, owl is going to change from hot to cold. What it looks like when it changed from hot to cold with this doll the pet, it shows you where you have some accessories. It shows you that there's a reversible um, outfit in here and your doll. Okay, so with no further ado, let's get her out the box. Well, out of the cylinder. Okay, so now that we are back and we have our doll out of the um, cylinder, um, here we have, this is different because usually, you know, you have a whole outfit where um, the doll has on fuzzy pants. So this is very different for me. Um, she has a, like, this looks like a, like a dress fuzzy, right? So you, we know that these are supposed to be wings on the back of it. Um, you also have her headpiece, but she's got like leggings. Like these are like sparkly leggings, really cute, right? And then she has her, um, her bird feet at the bottom. And to be honest with you, I like this. And I really feel like this is probably one of the ones that I definitely like a little bit more than some of the ones that I've unboxed. Just her outfit, like, it's really cute. Like, I'm wondering how you're gonna be able to give her a second outfit in this, but we're gonna see, right? Next we have, and when you open it out, you do have your instructions, okay? So as you can see, it kind of tells you what you need to do as far as reversing or doing something different with the outfit and also the water change. And then you have um, the Barbie Cutie Reveal, 
series of showing you which dolls are in here. Okay. All right. You also come with one, two, three, four blind bags. So you have a pink one, a purple one. You have this like aquish, not aqua, I guess it's like a greenish seafoam green or something in that table. And you have a lighter pink bag um, of accessories. So we'll definitely get into that. But first, I definitely want to see what the doll looks like. So let's get into that. So we'll take off first the hand pieces that come on this doll. Which I never reuse. Let's take off her foot foot pieces, right? And the other thing about the reveals is that they're you know they're not fully art you know like a hundred percent articulated like in like a um like a made to move doll is but I have rebodied some of these dolls as well, okay? So we're going to take her outfit off first. I always go top to bottom. All right, so we've got this off. This is what she, okay, so you've got some articulation just at the elbow, not at the wrist, but that's okay. I mean, we'll take it, right? She comes with a uh, molded on, um, I call these like a bralette, and then she's got her, um, her still her sparkly pants. I don't want to have her out here naked, so I'm going to keep the sparkly pants on, but it does seem like she is articulated and can move at her knee joint, okay? And then let's take off her, take it off, take it off, take it off. Take it off. Oh, okay. She's very pretty. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at her purple hair. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the doll's face. I haven't even taken her hair down, guys. But look at her face. She's got like three little stars on her face. Very pretty. Very pretty doll. Let's look at her hair. Oh, look at this. I love her purple hair. Now, I definitely will have to give her a hot water boil to get it to straighten all the way out, but that's no problem because it is absolutely gorgeous. It's been under that little hat, I mean, that her costume. So, of course, it's not going to be straight, but I love her hair. This is absolutely gorgeous. And she also has, as you can see, underneath her pants, she's got her pink, I mean, her, um, her underwear, which I really like when the dolls put molded um, underclothes on the dolls so that they're not, like, completely naked. Um, you know, and this is a play line for a kid, so it's good that they're not like that. I really like the fact that they are, um, clothed. So let's get her a stand. And we'll put her on a stand while we look at what else comes with her. But she's a really pretty doll. I like her. Look at her thick eyebrows. Just a really pretty doll. Like, I'm really ready to redo her and find her a body because I like her face mold. So she definitely will have a made-to-move body. Um, in this. Okay, so now that we've gotten her costume off of her, let's have a look-see of what is in these blind bags, right? Okay, so the first thing we have in the purple blind bag, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. So we've got her, her little owl friend. Okay, so in the, in the first one, we have an owl. So as you can see, this one is going to be her pet. So this is really cute. He's cute too. Okay, in our next line bag, I'm going to open the light pink one. Okay. So in this one we have, okay, so we've got a little comb and we have the comb with the color change sponge on it. So, you, you know, you're going to wet this either cold or hot and you're going to use it across her face to kind of show what will be revealed. I don't, not going to do that one just yet because I do have another one I think that I have to use water for. So I'll play around with that at that point. Okay, so our next one we have is going to be... Okay, so we've got like a little headband that has wings on it. Is there anything else in here? Okay, so she's got, I don't know if this is a neck choker or, which I think it is a neck choker. So I think she's like a little necklace in that one. And then in this last bag we have, okay, so in the last bag we've got a pair of boots. So we've got a pair of purple long boots with kind of like some fringe, some molded fringe on the side of each boot. So I'm really interested to see how I'm supposed to turn this, which I think, I think I'm supposed to turn this inside out, right? So let me figure out for this doll, how we are supposed to get her looking really cute with just the boots on. So I gotta figure that part out. But okay, give me a second. 
Okay, so I hope I did this right. That's number one. Okay, because I'm not like I'm not the biggest fan of I'm really the biggest fan of the doll. Uh oh, of the doll itself. And you see her little um, headband just flew off by mistake. So now I gotta get it. Okay, so, sorry about that, but her headband flew off, and I wanted to show you how she looks with her headband on, because she looks really super cute with it. Um, so I don't know if I did this outfit right, because there is nothing on the box that shows you how she should be dressed in the second outfit. And usually everything that comes off of the first outfit, you know, you just reversing the coat, and then you have something. So I like the fact that it can be a coat dress. I made it a coat dress. Um... And, but I don't like the boots, right? So the boots are not a fan favorite for me, but that's okay. Um, it's, I get the idea and I might have to look and see if like any of my Rainbow Hide dolls or somebody else has some really cute boots that can go with this. But because I'm going to give her a made to move body anyway, I don't think that it's going to really matter that much. But I think if they would have did Barbie, I mean, Mattel really should start to invest in some better quality you know shoes for the dolls but then again this is a playline doll this is not a collector's doll so maybe if it was a collector's doll or not you know just a better you know not so much of a playline doll then it wouldn't really matter but these are kids playing with it so i get probably why they want some sustainable boots or something that they can just click on and click off um of their feet but other than that the doll is really cute i didn't put the leggings on because i wasn't sure but i guess you could put the leggings on with it um, and then put them over the boots. I didn't think that would be cute. So I just left it as a coat dress with a pair of the long boots. Um, overall, I absolutely um, love her. She's a really pretty doll. Um, and I um, I know they don't come with doll stands. So I'm, as you can see, I'm putting her on my doll stand. But she's really cute. I am going to find her a body so that we can rebody her. And I can go through that process and show you how I do my rebodies of my dolls with made to move bodies so i gotta find her one and i might have like an old doll i'm ready to um you know rebody again that i'm not kind of using so but her purple hair is so pretty you guys like it's such a dark dark purple it just reminds me of like some of my lol dolls that have like that dark hair i think i have one that is similar um with a um with a rainbow high doll i'm not too sure but this and maybe not because this hair color is just absolutely gorgeous and it really pops so that is our cutie reveal doll and if i had to look at both dolls so far i'm definitely going to give the cutie reveal a seven um um and i'm going to give my made to move doll definitely a nine i mean she's got a made to move body why could how could i not right so um all of these really cute accessories that she has um are super cute but i want us also to venture into the land of another barbie um doll that i've never ventured into and that is our color reveal
Okay, hey, 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 welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. And I have decided, I was going to do this in a, another video, but I decided, you know what, let me just give it its own video because there's so much to unpack, unpack in this color reveal. So um, I'm going to start by taking the doll part out because it says there's 25 surprises in here. So we do have that. And then we have the actual color reveal part of this. This doll says that it is tie-dye peel, so I'm excited to see what that's about. I've already started trying to unpack some of it, so um, let's go ahead and get started quickly. But as you can see, we have 25 surprises. This is a tie-dye. I'm excited to see. It's showing you a couple of things that it comes with. And I also wanted to show you where it has a lot, okay? So you have a lot of surprise packaging to open. We're gonna do it all here together. Um, and then we are also going to unpack our doll to kind of see. I've never done a stick and peel, guys, so I'm excited about doing that. Um, I did open one already that was in the sand pack, okay, so I didn't know what it was. But um, it, it's like kinetic sand in there, and when you open it up, you get a scrunchie. So your dolly has a scrunchie. So that's our first surprise reveal that came in the pack. But let's start first off with the doll. First of all, it says no water. And all of the packaging, all of your packages, you also get some Barbie stickers in here. Put that to the side. But in this big packaging, you get a lot of stuff to unpackage. But everything says no water. So please do not try to dunk or put it in water because it's letting you know all over here and all over in your packaging that no water is required. So let's get her out of her bag. I don't know if it's like a specific, I'm gonna just use scissors, okay? Cause I don't know. All right, so we got some trusty scissors. Oh, okay. Oh, look it. Okay, so first things first, she's a pretty doll. She comes with a plastic, in plastic. Okay, so let's take off her plastic. Take it off, I'm still taking it off. Taking it, okay. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Okay, so how do we, it says no water, but then how do you get this off of her? Like, how do you, oh, so we've got a, let's see. This looks like it would go in the water and I don't know, guys. But she's real. let's talk about the doll first. First of all, she's very, very pretty. She's got this um, really cute, baby hair and edges. She's got a, a little patch of color in the front. Her face mold is one that I feel like I've seen before. What do you think? But she's very, very pretty. Um, and then she's got her body is adorned in like tie-dye kind of like. Um, but I don't know why it says no water. And she looks like there should be some water. But if not, you're supposed to peel it off, right? Maybe, okay. Let me look at some instructions first, you guys, so I can make sure I'm doing it right, because I feel like she needs to be swirling in something, but there's nothing to swirl it in, so this could be true. So let me, hold on one second. Let me figure it out. Okay, so now I had to get to the, my handy dandy instructions. And so it says to start peeling, right? So I am. Oh, okay. So you just gotta keep peeling. Oh my God, this is so soothing. <sighs> okay. Is it in the back too? Do we peel the back? Yes. Okay, so it's like you just... Okay, so you're just peeling. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're just going to keep peeling. That is so satisfying, guys. I think I would buy this doll just to do the peeling. Look at that. Okay. A little rough around the legs. That's all right. Let me get all the rest off. You just use it and just peel away. Oh, okay. Oh. Look how I made some white boots. Ah, I'm creative. I'm creative. Okay, let me get the stuff off her feet. Because this seems like the little harder part to take off. Right? Mm. 
Even around the feet gets a little rough. Mm. Okay, let me go over here. All right, let me try to get this off her feet. I don't want to waste a whole lot of camera time, but you can see what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay, so now that I have her completely peeled off, this is what she looks like underneath, and she has like a bathing suit. I want to call it like a bathing suit um, type of deal. She is not articulated at all, so that's just the sad part about it. But she's a really pretty girl. Um, and so I like the fact that she's got like this really pretty unicorn. The top of is black. She's got like a painted on belt and then she's got the bottom of her bathing suit as well. So very, very cute um, doll. I just hate the fact that she's not articulated. We're going to put her on one of my doll stands and then we're going to go through what she comes with and accessorize her and get her all ready for the day. But she is a very cute doll and I love the peel and stick process i love it for those that don't want all of that water and stuff everywhere because i can imagine it getting everywhere so hey i'm good with that so first let's start with our first blind bag that we're going to open and this is oh okay wait a minute and be careful because i've said before sometimes we throw stuff out really quick and then you know it gets lost in these bags so she's got some really cute earrings and she's got this really cute purse so we've got like a pink um mesh i call it like a mesh purse okay then she's got some hot not hot but you know neon green triangle earrings really really cute so i'm gonna put that over here with this neon scrunchie and i'm gonna put everything up first so we can see it as we're going through it and then um we will get her all together and dressed. Um, okay. The next thing that I have here is this hot pink packaging. Let's open up this one and see what it is. Okay, so she's got a clear um, radio. And I'm wondering if this, this um, the uh, kinetic sand that I have here, I'm wondering is that supposed to go inside the radio, but I'll, I'll read the directions. But as you can see, there is a clear little radio here that comes with the doll. Okay, so that's the next thing we have. We're gonna open up our next bag. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, okay, so we've got a hair clip that has um, pink and green on the clip. So this looks like, you know, you can kind of clip it in her hair and give her a new hairstyle. That's neat, right? You can do that like to any of your dolls, actually. Okay, so that's really, really cute. No, oh, I didn't see that coming at all. Okay. Our next, and I'm just pulling the bags randomly off the top, you guys. So, I mean, let's see what this one is. Okay, so inside this bag, oh, okay, so we've got an outfit. Oh, this is a really cute outfit. So we have um, a tie-dye skirt, kind of like neon, like little skirt we have. And then we also have a tie-dye top, okay? So that's a really cute um, outfit. And it looks like it goes really cute with her little hair if you decided to put the hair um, together, okay? So that's the first thing that we have. Then we also have our next bag. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay, so you got a pair of shorts. You got a pair of neon like biker shorts in here. Okay, so that's what's in, it's in that one. You've got a pair. So it looks like she's got like a couple of outfits that you may be able to play around with on here. Just moving that so you can see. Okay, now we got a small purple bag. Let's see what's in here. And in this bag we have, I'm going to just put it in my hand. because Okay. So this bag you get a pair of sunglasses. Really cute sunglasses too, you guys. Okay, so we've got a pair of sunglasses for her. I've got another small bag. This one right here we're going to open up. Okay, so the next um, bag that we have we're going to open has in it, okay. Looks like this is like a water bottle. And it has like a little heart on it. So it does have the little finger placement. So she can put her finger in there when she um, uses it. Okay. The light pink one has. Oh, okay. So she's got a roller skate. 
a skate, not a roller skate, I'm sorry, a skateboard. Um, it has like a little peg. So I'm wondering if, you know, we have something else that can go, it's going to go with that. So I'll just keep my comment to myself so far. Then I'm going to open our next package. Okay, so our next package. Oh, so she's got a little doggy. Okay, so in the next package you have what looks to me like a corgi. Like he's kind of short haired and short little stout dog and then he has on like, this really cute little doggy um bandana around his neck which is super cute and the bandana matches her outfit so they actually put everything together for our dolly okay so in this package what do we have okay so we've got roller skates okay so she's got some hot orange um neon um orange neon orange roller skates and they do not move so the wheels on here do not move it looks like they're just for you know decoration on her feet and it would have been nice if they would have you know actually added some color to them and just not like all one color plastic but you know hey beggars can't be choosers we got it this is what we got okay in our next um blind bag we have let's see if this is oh so she's got like a little lava lamp this is super cute all with that whole groovy 70s neon um, tie-dye theme. I think it's really cute. We've got two bags left to open. Okay, so in this bag we have, let's see what this is. Okay, so she's got a helmet for her um, roller skating. Okay, so she comes with the neon green um, bike helmet. I call them a bike helmet, but an athletic helmet, right? And she also has a pair of yellow sneakers. And these sneakers look like they have, you know, there's something on the bottom of them. So I'm not sure if that's purposeful. I mean, I mean I'm not too sure, but they all just plastic. They don't need you know, plastic molded sneakers. And they are neon yellow. Um, and then on our last bag, I have, it's really, it's a big bag, but it's super thin, which is weird. Okay, so in our last bag, it looks like we have another hair piece which I guess you can just kind of put clips, is it hair clips to go in her hair. Um, so you know what, let's see what this looks like all together. I'm going to get her dressed and come back and then we'll rate her 1 to 10. Um, and this experience is a 1 to 10 and we will be done with her. But she's really cute so far. Let's put it all together. Okay, so now that I have her back um, out, you know, and put in some regular clothing that came with her. She's a really, I mean, it's a really cute set. Now, let me give you my highs and my lows. So what I did was, um, well, not highs and lows, but let me show you how I dressed her. I did put her shorts underneath her skirt. I put the skirt so that you can kind of see a little bit of the belt. Um, and her shirt is a crop top shirt. I also put the hair accessories in her hair, which was really cute. Just to kind of give her, you know, some extra juice in there. Um, I put her glasses on and her earrings on. So I really do like that you can kind of play around, you know, with her. I put her on skates instead of the sneakers. Um, and because I put her hair clip in, I can't put, you know, her, um, excuse me, I can't put on her um, helmet, but that's okay. Um, so just wanted to go through with you all really quick to my highs and my lows for this particular doll. While I thought that the doll was really pretty herself, the one thing I wasn't really happy with was the fact that she's not articulated, which I wish Barbie would give us more articulation in our dolls. But she is a play line doll. What I will say is that um, I don't know how well this line did in in when it originally came out, but I love the fact that you get that steel that um th uh, that peel and stick um. Uh, opportunity and not having to have water where water can be super super messy sometimes with kids but I'm glad that they gave us two variations of it so that was really pleasing to like peel that um, sticky stuff off of her um, and it was very easy and less messy for those of us that don't want to kind of deal with water the thing I didn't really like a low for me with this doll was the fact that her clothing her shirt is not a, um, a shirt where you can um, just Velcro in the back, which would have made it a lot easier, especially for small little hands of kids that um, are trying to get their clothes on. It was very hard trying to put it over her head and get it on her that way. Although I did, the child that's playing with this doll would absolutely have to have a parent assist them in how to do that if they're not an older kid. So it was very really hard to do it. Um, it took a lot of time a bit and I just felt like Barbie could have gave us some Velcro in the back I'm putting on the shirt. Um, so it wouldn't be so um, 
aggravating to kind of get on but other than that the doll is super cute the outfit is cute on the doll i would definitely have to rate this probably like a six out of ten for me just because the doll is not articulated and also it's really hard to get her clothing on her and a lot of the uh, accessories are just plastic molded accessories um i would have liked if the skates could have actually rolled it would have been really cute for that i mean you do get the um, skateboard that does have rollers on it but then I'm also wondering how do you keep the shoe on so it has like a little peg there but what goes on the peg because the shoe does not fit on the peg in order to make sure that Barbie can actually stand on it so having some functioning things would be really really exciting for this doll set um, and but other than that I mean if you find her at a Ross like I did I mean you don't feel bad about what you paid for it because I mean I would not have wanted to pay retail for this particular doll but i'm glad that i was able to find her for a lesser price and i think i might have found her for 15 dollars at a raw so if you do see these color reveal dolls um you know absolutely have a blast and grab you one i mean to play with or just to rebody her which i probably will well, thank you so much for watching brooklyn's barbie bay don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe when we get to a thousand subscribers we're going to start giving stuff away so you guys have an excellent opportunity to get some of these great um also, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to go ahead and drop a comment down. Positive vibes only. Um, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let your friends know about Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. And if you have any suggestions about things you want to see us unveil um, or unbox or review, please feel free to let me know. We have so many dolls that we have to go back through, you guys, from 2022 that I haven't had a chance to um unveil yet but it looks like we've got a couple of dolls that we've been doing really great with and they look absolutely fantastic thank you again and have a super day and thanks for watching brooklyn's barbie bay